I posted this video over on Instagram about three weeks ago and it's already got 800,000 views. And a lot of people in the comments wanted to know how I made it. Specifically, there are two different kind of cool effects that I did in this video. The first one being the split screen of the four different clips. And the second one being the before and after wipe that shows you the raw footage and then the final color grade. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did both of those things inside DaVinci Resolve. And the best part is that they're both super easy. Easy. So secure the cup, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how I did this. All right, so we're in DaVinci Resolve and what we're looking at here is the finished product. So up on the top here, I've got all my texts. So there's one, two, three, four, the little count that we have. And then the rest of this is just a looping, loading color grade thing in the middle. Then below that, we've got our building up of our clips. So this first one is the top clip. Then we add on the next one down, the next one down from that, and the final one. Where this cut happens here, that's where we've got the color grade version loading. And then at the end, we've got the full size versions of them. So all of these clips are vertically shot. So they do take up the full 16 by nine vertical space. And you can do these tricks either vertically or horizontally. It really doesn't matter. All right, so moving over to a blank version, I've just disabled all that text up top, but we've got everything kind of placed where we need it. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do is create that split screen effect. One way that we can do this is we can go into our inspector, which is in the top right corner here, and we can play with the cropping of the top and bottom. So we can try and get it to what we want, and then we can move it. So now we can move it up and down using our Y position. The way that I choose to do it is I first click this retain image position button, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of math. So if I grab crop bottom here and I move it all the way up, so it's cropping the whole thing, we can see that it's 1920. So our whole frame is 1920 pixels. What we want is to crop it three quarters of the way up because we want four different images on this screen. So if we grab a calculator here and we do a little bit of quick math, 1920 times 0.75 will be three quarters of it, so 1440. So we can go crop bottom, 1440, and now it's taking up only the top quarter of the screen. The issue here is that, as you can see, the top quarter is nothing. But when we click this retain image position, when I move my Y axis, it's going to retain the crop but move the image kind of behind it. Whereas before, when I don't have that clicked and I move the Y, it actually moves where the crop is. So by setting that crop first and clicking retain image position, I can set where I want the image within that crop. I can even do things like fix that horizon a little bit, maybe zoom it in a little bit. That's looking pretty good. So now we're gonna go to the second clip. We're gonna click retain image position, and then we're gonna grab our little calculator again here. We're gonna go 1920 divided by two because we want the bottom crop to be at that middle point. So 960, we can type that in here. And then we can go 1920 times 0.25 because we're gonna to wanna to go a quarter of the way down from the top is 480. So go to crop top. And we're gonna go 480. And now I've got that perfect crop there. And again, because I clicked retain image position, I can reposition that wherever I want. For the third one, it's just gonna be the reversed numbers of that. So 480 and 960, but the other way around. Retain image position, 960, 480, and we can move it. I'm gonna zoom this in two times so we can actually see our little birdie. And then on the final one, it's gonna be the reverse of the first one. So 1440, but from the top this time, and we're gonna retain image position, and we can move it like so. So now we've got our placement and it looks like this. And then we already have it set up at the end with our four color graded versions. So now what we need to do is create that loading color grade effect. What we're gonna do is grab all four of our clips here by holding down Command while we click or Control if you're on a PC. And I'm just going to slice them all. 
And now in this second half here, what I'm gonna do is go into my color page. And this is where you would color grade each of these four clips here, but I've already got them color graded at the end so I can just apply these over to their corresponding clips. You can do that either by clicking on the ungraded one, right clicking on the graded version and hitting apply grade. Or if you've got a middle click on your mouse, you can do that on the one that's graded. So click on the ungraded one, middle click on the graded just like that. So now I've got my four graded versions. If we go back to the edit page, now you'll see that it suddenly changes. And all we're gonna do is go into our effects panel. I'm gonna go to video transitions and just search for wipe. I'm gonna grab that and hover it over the middle of our top one here. So you can see it happening to the bottom clip there. And all I wanna do is spread that all the way to the end here. So you can see it kind of slowly loading that. Right now it's got an ease on it. I'm actually gonna take that off so it's just a linear wipe. And then I'm going to hold down option and I'm gonna grab on that edge wipe and I'm gonna drag it down onto the next one and stretch that out. Alternatively, I can click on one of my edge wipes and hit Command C or Control C if you're on a PC. Then I can find this cursor here right in between the non-color graded and color graded clips. Click and hit Control or Command V. And it almost did it. I wanna just drag that right out to the end. Same thing here, so I'll just hit Command V, and drag that out. And now we should see all four of them with our color grade loading. And then of course we add our titles back in and there's music that I can't play here on YouTube because of copyright reasons, but it turned out like this. One, two, three, four. Boom, tucky, boom, tucky, tucky, boom, boom. Boom, tucky, boom, tucky, tucky, boom, boom. So there it is. Like I said, both of these effects are super easy to do. And as always, I wanna hear from you. Let me know down in the comments if this is something you would use on your own projects, or maybe you would do it a different way. And on your way down there, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future reviews and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Honk, honk, honk. Fairy's going out. Thank you.